Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the program. Boy, this is a great look Monday. We've got uh, Chrissy Farrow taking care of her friend Kelly over in one part of the studio, and now I'm with Dr. Todd Shatkin from Aesthetic Associates Center, and we're going to help you look good in your mouth this morning, right, doctor? That's right, Jeff. By the way, before we get into it, whoa, uh, somebody cue the band there a little early. Um, I want to congratulate you. I understand your daughter, your, your teenage daughter, is Miss Western New York. That's right, Juliet. Wow, that's yeah, great. That's exciting. Uh, how was she chosen? Is this well, it was, uh, it was by application and selection committee, and she's going to be representing Western New York in the Miss New York State Outstanding Teen Contest at the end of June in Terrific. Albany. Terrific. Terrific. Was so. there a big pageant and everything for there her? There will be. There will for be. For the New York State. That's one. great, Doctor. Well, yeah. you tell her our, our best, and we wish Thank her you. all the luck. Thank you very much. All right, what are we talking about this morning? Obviously, teeth, <clears throat> but in, yeah. in what uh, reference? Well, um, I, I was going to show a couple of cases. One is uh, a simple thing where you replace a single tooth. It's very common for people to be missing their lateral incisor. It's a congenitally missing tooth. It's okay. uh, the most commonly missing tooth that people are born without. Yeah. And this is a particular patient that's missing that lateral incisor tooth. Okay. And uh, he had been wearing a removable appliance for many, many years and finally decided to have the tooth replaced. So here's a before picture. Yeah. And uh, in one visit, in about a half an hour, we're able to put an implant and a, and a crown in wow. place. Wow. Isn't that something? Now, why did you say this is the typical tooth that people lose? I, I mean, no, how not, they not lose that them? they lose it, that they're born without. This is oh, a born without it. congenitally oh. missing tooth. The lateral incisor is the most commonly missing tooth in, in, in birth. Well, I never knew that. And so uh, they're, they're born without that permanent tooth, so that permanent tooth never erupts into the mouth. Okay. And so they're missing that tooth. How were you able to replace that in such a short space? Well, of we time? use the what mini implant with the procedure that I've developed where we place the implant and the crown in one visit. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a great procedure. Is, is that procedure where you, you put um, an anchor in, in yes, the bone? Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mini screw. It's placed, yeah. it sounds terrible, but it's really uh, very simple. Well, it's painless, minimally, sure, and right? Minimally invasive. There's no cutting, there's no stitches. We, do, we go through a very tiny pinhole in the gum. It's all like microsurgery. We wow. make a little hole, we thread it in, and then we put a, a crown already made on the tooth. It's, it's uh, dentistry's form of arthroscopic surgery, right. I guess, almost, right? Yeah, yeah, kind of it is. Close, close. And then we've been doing this for about, well, the mini implants we've been doing for almost nine years. Okay. And uh, for the immediate tooth replacement, about uh, six years now, and they're just yeah. fantastic. That's great. Boy, that person had to be extremely happy. Yeah. How long had that person gone without that tooth? Well, since they were, uh, since their teeth came in their mouth. So wow. at uh, 12 years old, they never erupted that tooth. Oh and my. so, so uh, they were wearing a removable uh, flipper or Remo temporary yeah. tooth. For Something that snaps into yeah, place. Yeah, like a yeah. retainer. Yeah. And uh, finally decided it was time to get it replaced. That was a beautiful job. That looked great. Yeah. They must have been very happy. Yeah, so then the other thing we're going to talk about also is people who have really neglected their mouth. We've got to warn people, you know, get ready. Because uh, some people doctors. just just don't take care of their mouth. And, yeah. and for whatever reason, maybe they had bad dental care when they were children or whatever, but this patient had a lot of severe periodontal gum disease, mm -hmm. teeth had shifted and, and misaligned, lost a lot of teeth. And there's, this is a case where you can't save the teeth. But what we can do is take them out and give them replacements and we can do implant dentures, which is what this patient had. And uh, we immediately gave this patient oh my gosh. a smile back. And uh, it can be. It, it was all done in one. That's the same same person patient. Yeah. That we just saw the after on. Yes, and that that's a complete upper denture Holy and lower smoke. denture with implants. So the denture snaps into place. It's very secure, and the patients can smile and eat again. These people are probably lighting candles for you in church on Sunday or I don't something. Know about because that, that's but... incredible. Yeah. We, that, now, we, how long was that procedure? How long did that person have to? Uh, uh, well, they, part in this. they never left the office without teeth, which is great because we have, a, <laughs> we have the lab right in our building. We make the dentures right there, and they can have the teeth out and have the dentures put in the same visit. And in some cases like this, the implants were put in the same visit as well. Now, the dentures were a temporary thing until you could d bring them back for the implants? No, these were implant dentures. So the dentures the snap, snap, dentures. snap into the patient's mouth so they can snap them on and they're nice and secure. So you can put the anchors in the gum at the same time you have taken the old teeth out. Right. I thought there might be a, a healing time you yeah, had to well, wait. Yeah, well, sometimes we do have to wait, but sometimes we can find the bone to do that immediately. That's great. We have a phone call. Good morning. Welcome to the show. 
Hi, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Um, I have a friend whose son was born with no second teeth. His, he's been x-rayed several times, and he has no second teeth. He only has baby teeth, and as they fall out, he has no teeth. Yeah, that's a, that's a congenital deformity known as anodontia. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's not very common to miss all your teeth. We talked about a patient who was missing one tooth, but it does happen. And, um, and how old is the boy? They, uh, they're they're probably gone. Well, well, he obviously still has his baby teeth, yeah, she said. Um, yeah. Well, usually the baby teeth, are, they're really meant to only last about 12, 13 years. So they're not going to last his whole life. So you, he's a good candidate to have them replaced with implants. Okay. As they, either as they come out or to take them all out and put implants in at uh, say 17 years age, 16, 17 years of age, yeah. we can do that when the jaws are fully developed. Is that a common thing? Very uncommon to have it's, total anodontia. It's, it's uh, I don't know the exact percentage, but it's very low. Yeah. How about insurance on that other thing we saw, the, well, the person with the really bad mouth? Yeah. I mean, does insurance come into play in something like Definitely. that? Definitely. Insurance will help cover the cost of extractions, the oral surgery, the, uh, the dentures, and perhaps some insurances will cover implants, but it's not uh, very common that they do. Okay. We have another call. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. What can we do for you? Yes. Um, I, I've had bad uh, problems with uh, my teeth for ever since I could... Uh, I could know, and I was just wondering, what if you have fear in seeing the dentist? Because uh, I've had bad experience. Well, that's a, I'm glad you brought that up because that's something important, and a lot of people do, of course, have a fear of going to the dentist, and unfortunately, and what we offer in our office is we have sedation and uh, dentistry, and we offer uh, IV sedation. We have a board-certified anesthesiologist, Dr. Rose wow. Birkin, who comes in, so you know you don't have to worry about uh, who's going to do your anesthesia. The, the anesthesiologist works at the local hospitals. She comes into our office. She'll give you an IV. She'll sedate you. You'll be calm. I just did one the other day. The patient was so comfortable, and she was a real, real nervous person. Yeah. And and she also, on top of that could not have local anesthetic at all because she had a terrible allergic reaction to local. Okay. So we couldn't give her any shots of Nova lidocaine or anything. So we did this with a deep sedation and we did all her work and she didn't feel a thing and she woke up and she was thrilled. That is great to know that you have a, a, a really experienced or a fully uh, yeah. licensed medical uh, doctor. Uh, yeah. yeah, medical doctor to do this because sometimes you hear other dentists say, we come in, we just give you a little pill. Yeah. And, and I. I never understood how that could completely. Well, we're a fully off. accredited ambulatory surgery right. center, so we have our own operating rooms and we're accredited, so we, we take care of the patients. All right, well, doctor, thanks for coming in and sharing some more amazing dentist, dental technology with us. I'm, we always learn something when you come thanks, in. John. Thank you very much. And you'll find Aesthetic Associates at 2500 Kensington Avenue in Amherst. They're number 839 1700. Preceding segment and images used brought to you by Dr. Todd Shatkin and the Aesthetic Associates Center.